hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video I'm going to be revisiting the straight up profits a roulette strategy I uh, see that you guys uh, really like that strategy but you are kind of having trouble with the betting progression so I do apologize for that guys and I'll try to clarify everything in this video to show you exactly what you're gonna do when you're having uh, those losing streaks but uh, before we get started, let me just uh, give you a few tips on this strategy. Now, I have no proof to back this up, guys. But uh, if there is such a thing as a roulette wheel tracking you, this uh, strategy would be the easiest uh, for the computer to track. So I am just um, giving you a heads up. I have no proof to, to back that up, guys. But that's why I take my breaks uh, I try not to play uh, longer than 20 minutes at uh, any point in time. If I am uh, losing a few units um, in 20 minutes, I uh, take my break and I come back and I chase after those uh, few units. The only time that I play longer than uh, 20 minutes at one point in time is if I am down a lot. I try to get back up at least uh, breaking even and then I take my break. So I just want to give you that guys that heads up now I have no proof to back that up that is just my uh, personal opinion so uh, you can take it with a grain of salt and um, let's get started and I'll show you how it works so you can either make your bet selection on same or opposite so it's up to you to do your uh, observation of the wheel that you're going to be playing on and see if the wheel is uh, producing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a repeats if you're getting a lot of repeats the best uh, bet selection to be making is same so as you can see the wheel has a uh, pulled number one number one 27 and 12 so there's a repeat of uh, one so there's a possibility that uh, this wheel is uh, favoring repeats so if you have uh, if you're seeing that in the stats if you check the stats and you see the last 100 outcomes you are getting a lot of repeats then go with that uh, that uh, strategy bet on the last number that came so if you're betting same example the last number that came was uh, 12 you bet 12 uh, whatever comes on a wheel again let's say we spin you are uh, repeat with 12 and you add the last outcome so we have number 30 so that's the opposite a direct opposite 12 and 30 that's uh both numbers are opposites to each other so if we were playing opposite uh, we would have had a hit so in this video i'm not uh, focusing so much on the hits i'm trying to get that losing streak to show you exactly how the betting progression works so we have uh, two opposite numbers in the last uh, two outcomes so i'm going to force a spin and uh, wait for a new outcome so I have number 35, so let's get started. Opposite of 35 is number 8. So I, I am playing opposites. That's my personal uh, favorite uh, bet selection. Unless the wheel is really not uh, favoring opposites, then I play same. So the way it works, uh, we placed one unit on the opposite of 35. So we're going to rebet our one unit on 8. The opposite of 2 is number 20. We're going to add that number. We're going to spin again. The problem you guys were having after 8, 9 spins, uh, you weren't sure what to do with uh, the betting progression. So I'm going to clear that up for you here, guys. Opposite of 6 is 22. So when you have a hit between 1 and 7 spins, you're going to be in profit so you can restart the entire progression if you have a hit during eight spins you're going to be breaking even now when you have a hit on the on 9 10 11 on all those spins you're going to be taking a loss and you guys were asking if you should uh, double your bets after eight spins but i told you not to and i'll show you exactly why i told you not to So we have a hit, we really didn't want to get that hit, but we had it. We started with a 1200 unit bankroll, we're up to 1226. So I'm just going to record that 26 units profit. 
we're playing for anything above 26 units so let's try again to see if we have that uh, losing streak so the opposite of 11 is 28 we're covering two numbers opposite of 20 it's number two for those of you not uh, familiar with the opposite numbers it's basically the numbers on the wheel example 24 came directly opposite 24 on the wheel is going to be number 15 so that is the the opposite numbers uh, bet selection so I added number 15 I'm now covering four numbers still betting one unit looking for anything greater than 26 unit so i have a direct hit that's uh, directly opposite of uh, number 24 so i'm i keep getting these wins but i i i don't want these wins i want to get a losing streak so let's continue we record our, our profits we are up to 52 units i'm going to force a spin i have two opposite numbers in my last uh, two outcomes so we're playing for anything greater than 52 units so I'm going to restart opposite of 18 it's number 27 opposite of 25 is 14 The opposite of 21 is number 1. The opposite of 10 is number 26. So we are covering a total of 4 numbers. And we have a hit again guys. Okay. Um... I really don't want to get these hits I don't want to make this uh, video too long so I just want you guys to really understand how the progression works so we are at 78 units I record my 78 units profit uh, let's go again opposite of 27 is uh, number 18 so I'm playing for anything greater than 78 units let's hope we get a losing streak here guys Opposite of 9 is 34. I add 34. So we just had a 21 that came not too long ago. And you see the opposite of uh, 21 is 1. So this wheel is uh, producing opposites. So if you were playing uh, same, as you can see, there's no repeats there. So you would have uh, been losing. It makes me wonder uh, if I should switch the same to get that losing streak. So we have one again. So what do you do when you get one? You're already covering number 21, which is the opposite of one. You place a unit on one. So there's a possibility one came uh, two times there. There's a possibility one could get hot and come again. So we have 16, the opposite of 16 is number 19. So we rebet, we cover 19, covering a total of uh, 5 numbers. Okay, guys, we have a hit again. Okay, so we're up to 2, uh, we're up to 99 uh, units in profit. Uh, let's, let's, let's try. The wheel is, uh, is producing uh, same and opposite because we have uh, one hit uh, two times there. So uh, let's try opposite again. Hopefully it goes uh, cool. Now when you have a profit of 20-25 units, uh, you can uh, take your break on uh, a 5-10 minute break and uh, come back again. Don't uh, play too long. So I record my 99 units uh, profit I'm playing for anything greater than 99 units opposite of 22 it's number six so as I said guys I have no proof to back up the the wheel tracking you but if there is such a thing 
this strategy will be very easy to be tracked by the computer if you are playing on those uh, RNG wheels or those are uh, airball machines so opposite of uh, 15 it's 24 because uh, if it is a computer and it is tracking you it's going to notice every time 16 come you're going to be covering 19 and every time uh, 22 come you're going to be covering uh, number 6 so as I said I have no proof but it's always better to be uh, safe than sorry always take your breaks don't give uh, the computer a long enough time to track you just try to get your hits and uh, get out take your break and then you uh, go back again there is a possibility that if you sit at a table for an hour two hours straight you uh, could could uh, get uh, wiped out your entire bankroll could get wiped out so we have a hit again guys uh, I'm not finding that losing streak so I'm going to restart I record my my 120 profit opposite of 934 opposite of 7 it's 36 uh, we must uh, get the losing streak guys uh, uh, this uh, can be happening to us uh, every time so let's try again so we added number 36 opposite of 19 is 16 so we're covering a total of uh, three numbers opposite of uh, 13 it's 29 covering a total of four numbers playing for anything greater than a 120 in profit so we have a zero that's great now when you have a zero you are going to cover the numbers uh, 2 3 or 23 only if those three numbers are unavailable if it's already covered then you cover the zero so since the, all the numbers are available I'm going to cover number two if you have a zero again I'm going to cover number three if you have a zero again I'll cover number 23 so let's uh, move on this is uh, spin number five we're covering uh, five numbers so we have number 26 the opposite of 26 is number 10 so we cover 10 we're covering a total of six numbers let's hope uh, this losing streak continues And we have a hit again guys okay so 135 we're up to 135 okay okay let's uh, try again opposite of 2913 I record my 135 profit I'm looking for anything greater than 135 uh, we have number 12 I'm going to rebet the opposite of 12 is number 30 have number one opposite of number one is 21 covering three numbers playing for anything greater than 135 in profit opposite of 835 opposite of 33 it's number four so we're going to add number four we're covering a total of five numbers opposite of 27 is 18 covering a total of six numbers we're still betting uh, one unit on each of our bets opposite of 24 is 15 we rebet we add number 15 opposite of 34 it's number 9 we add number 9 so now if we win on this 8 spin we're just going to be breaking even we'll be back at our 135 and we lose 
so this is where you guys are having the trouble because you are you are asking if you should double after eight losses in a row i told you not to and i'll show you exactly why so we lost eight spins in a row opposite of 26 is number 10 i'm going to add number 10 now if i do get a hit i'm still not going to be in profit and i know that but uh I'm keeping my bets low because I'm on a losing streak. I don't believe in raising my bets when I'm losing. Especially I'm only covering 9 numbers. So I'll wait till I'm covering a lot more numbers. Until I have a better chance. Now that's 9 numbers that I haven't hit in a while. So I'm covering number 36. That's the opposite of uh, 7. I'm down to 90 units in profit. I'm looking for anything greater than 135. So I lose again. So if you were doubling and tripling up, guys, you would have just been uh, damaging your bankroll. And uh, I am not about that. We are looking to protect our bankroll at uh, all cost. Even if we lose all our profits uh, that we already made, I'm not going to risk losing that uh, 1200 unit bankroll. So I cover number 2 because uh, 0 came. Now I'm covering a total of 12 numbers. I'm down to 69 units. Still having a losing streak. So I now have a hit guys. So I check my profits. Obviously I'm down. I'm 93 units because I was only covering with 1 unit. I rebet the opposite of uh, 35 is 8. This is where I am going to launch my attack. I am covering 13 numbers. Out of those 13 numbers, only I had one hit, which is number 35. So 12 numbers are on hit, which gives me a, a better chance of hitting. So I'm going to now increase my bets by one unit. Each number is covered with two units. I spin, covering a total of a 13 units playing for anything greater than 135 so I lose when I'm losing I'm keeping my bets the same still at two units I add number 28 which is the opposite of 11 I spin again I have number 17 opposite of 17 it's 31 so I'm covering a total of 15 numbers I am not going to cross 80 numbers. That is my max limit. So the opposite of 24 is 15. 15 already covered. I'll cover number 24. I'm covering a total of 16 numbers. I'm down to 9 units in profit. I'm playing for anything greater than 135. I lose number 4. It's already covered. So now 33, 33 just came, number 4 is already covered, uh, 24 came, number 15 was already covered, which means that tells us that the, the wheel is producing same result, repeats. So you got to be uh, observant of that, you got to make your observations. Now it's switched on us because we were playing opposites and we were having hits earlier on, but uh, you got to be aware of those things when the table, when the wheel switches on you. So the opposite of 4 is 33. I cover 33. 33 came, th opposite of 33 is 4. 4 already covered. That's why we covered the number 33. Just to be clear. So again, the opposite of number 20 is 2. 2 already covered, which means number 20 came before. This is a repeated number. So that is our max. We are covering a total of 18 numbers. We are not going to add any more numbers. We are looking for those wins now. Out of those 18 numbers, we had one hit, which is number 35. So now we are going to launch our attack. We have, uh, and we have a hit from number 10. So that tells us uh, 16 of our numbers has not hit which gives us a really good chance we are just going to add one unit on each of our bets now if we started doubling up and tripling up since uh, after eight spins we would have uh, probably wiped out a 1200 unit bankroll by now 
but as you can see there's no big damage to our bankroll I raised one unit I added one unit to each of my bets I'm now covering each number with three units I am down 21 units I have a hit so I rebet check my profits I'm up to 33 units I am going to attack again I add one unit to each of my bet So I'm up to 4 units on each bet. I'm covering a total of 18 numbers. I'm playing for anything greater than 135. Number, 30, number 5 came. We lose. I'm not going to uh, increase my bet. Just in case we have a long losing streak. Number 23 I lost again. I repeat. Still keeping my bets to the same. I'm down 111 units. Number 29 came. We lose again. I rebet. I'm down 183 units. Twenty-nine again. So this wheel is uh favoring same uh it's only producing uh repeats. So that's why we're on this losing streak. I rebet, I spin again. I'm down 255. We have a zero. So I have made 135 in profit. I didn't take any breaks. I continued playing. So there is a possibility that this will probably track me and these are just pulling all the numbers that I'm not covering as you can see for yourself and this is a very uh, a not so good software this is just a, a, a software for fun so you can only imagine the software that the casino uses against you it will be the best of the best all the numbers that we're not covering that's the numbers that the wheel is pulling with down 471 so you guys could uh, also make this as a learning experience if uh, this wheel can do this to me then imagine what the casino can do to me so we're down 399 I'm going on the attack again I'm adding one unit Your breaks are very important guys take your breaks don't uh, give the wheel time to track you if if that is uh, possible don't uh, give it a chance to track you as I said I have no proof of that that's just my uh, opinion I have a hit again I'm going to rebet I'm going to stay on the attack add one unit to each of my bets So my main objective here is try to get out of this game and take a break. Taking uh, the smallest uh, damage to my bankroll. I can't leave a 309 inside. I, I need to try to fight and uh, get back up. So I'm down 201. I still uh, don't believe I should leave that and go for a break. So I'm going to continue. At this point, I am not uh, focused on profit. I am worried about my uh, 1200 unit bankroll. That is my main concern right now. We have uh, 34, so we lose. I'm going to rebet. Not going to add any units. I'm down 327. I lose again. I rebet. Number eight. I have a hit on number eight. I rebet. When I have that win, I'm going to attack. When I'm losing, I'm going to keep my bets the same. 
that is the strategy that I'm using right now so I add one unit to each of my bets I'm not launching attack by doubling up and tripling up because if I get a few uh, losses in a row I'll be completely wiped out my bankroll uh, that would be the end of my bankroll so I have a hit again I'm playing for these numbers that I've covered to start coming out just increasing one unit to my bet So I'm covering 9 units on each number. My total bet was 162. I'm down 183. So there's number 3. I lose. I rebet. Not going to add any units. I'm down 345. This is a real battle here now. So I'm going to rebet. Launch and attack again. One unit on each of my bets if uh, two or, or three of my numbers come in a row I would uh, fully recover in this case if just uh, two numbers come in a row I'll be fine so I have uh, number 33 going to launch that attack again add one unit as I said, my main concern is my 1200 unit bankroll, the 135 that I uh, had, that was basically the casino money, that was my profit. If I go home without that, I'll be perfectly fine, but I'm not fine if I go home without my 1200 units. So I have a hit again, and that is what I was playing for. I was at 135. Um, now up to 195 now I'm not going to get greedy and launch an attack again that uh, it would just be ridiculous I have 195 I'm going to take that 195 I was supposed to be on a break a very long time ago I didn't take that break uh, I figured the wheel started tracking me so just this is just a, a, a software for fun guys so I, it's just an example to show you if if there it really such if there really is such a thing as a wheel tracking you the casino will have the best of the best software to do that and this strategy is the easiest software the easiest strategy uh, to track because as i said number four came i'm going to bet 33 because no matter what i do the opposite of four will always be 33 so the computer can read me and see that every time that number 4 comes I'm placing my bet on 33 every time number 35 comes I'm placing my bet on number 8 every time number 3 comes I'm placing my bet on 23 so it's very easy to track me using this strategy that's why your breaks are very important guys you hit a small profit a 20 even not even so much if you win a 10 15 units you get out you take a 5 10 minute, at 5 10 minute break and then you you go back again let a, a few uh, spins go by you you never know if it is shocking you as i said i have no proof of that but um it's always better to be safe than sorry so now i can breathe again i've recovered my 1200 unit bankroll plus i made a, a 195 units in profit now remember guys units can be anything it can be one dollar fifty cent twenty five cent ten cent whatever your funds are whatever you are willing to risk always remember to do your test before playing for real money this uh, strategy i was just explaining to you how to, uh, to to go about using the strategy you keep your bets low when you are losing and you attack when you're winning as i just uh, showed you there so i hope you guys have a better understanding of the strategy as i said before and um, always play responsibly guys uh, never take risks that you don't have to now don't get greedy and uh, rebet as we were up I think 10 or 11 units covering a number don't don't play for that uh, big hit for an, another uh, 198 in profit because you can lose and you can have a long losing streak and you can probably wipe out your uh, entire bankroll so don't uh, play greedy 
there's always uh, tomorrow, there's always uh, a next time. As I said, if you take your bricks, you give the wheel a chance to, uh, to produce some hits and you're not betting. It can't track you if that is a thing. It, it won't be able to track you because you're taking your bricks every, every so often. You know, try not to sit on a table for too long. And uh, I personally uh, don't play for longer than uh, 20 minutes at a time. As I said, if I am down, I was down a lot. I was, uh, I think, uh, over 300 units I was down. So I'm not going to take my break there. If I uh, came back to break in even, or even if I came back to my 1200 unit bankroll, I would still consider taking a break there and uh, forfeit that uh, one 35 units profit that I had just to uh, protect my 1200 unit bankroll. That, that 1200 unit is uh, my money, my hard earned money, so I am going to try to protect that at all costs. I can live without the 135, that is what the casino gave me. And uh, if they decide to take it back, that, that's fine, you know. But as long as I get to leave with my 1200 unit bankroll, I would be okay. I would not be happy I made uh, no profit, but I would still uh, be, I would be contented that uh, it could have been a whole lot worse. And uh, I still uh, got the, I was still fortunate enough to leave with my 1200 unit bankroll. So if you're playing a strategy, as you can see guys, I was uh, getting a lot of, a lot of losses there, but I stick with the strategy and I, I already set my uh, stop loss at 1200 units. When I walk into a casino, I already counted at 1200 units dead. So I said, uh, if I lose, I lose. That is all I am going to risk. But at the same time, I'm not going to give it up without a fight. I am going to uh, stick to my strategy. If I play everything the right way and I still lose my 1200 units, I uh, can't feel bad for that because I, 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 I did the best that I could. I stuck with a strategy. I played it exactly the way that I, I supposed to play it, but it just wasn't my day. You're not going to win every day. Roulette is a very risky and unpredictable game. Always remember that, guys. Always play responsibly. If you guys have any uh, questions about this strategy, if there's anything that you still don't fully understand, um, feel free to ask me about it in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope uh, you have a better understanding of how the progression works. And um, as I said, guys, as please play responsibly. This is a very uh, risky strategy. I know it requires a lot. I, I am playing with a 1200 unit bankroll. It's not for everyone. But those of you who have the bankroll and uh, want to uh, give it a go, always do your test. If you got to do it a million times, do your test a million times before playing for real money guys so i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys have fun with it and i hope it uh, brings you some uh, easy profits when you can get those hits in the in the between one to seven you take your breaks and you go back in so as i said before guys just play responsibly and you'll be just fine so thank you all for watching thank you all for the support that you have shown me for with subscribing watching commenting i really appreciate all of you guys and have a good one guys and I'll see you on the next video.